My next guest will always settle down, everybody. I'll come up there myself. My next guest. Oh, you want that? Okay. My next guest will always be known for uh, playing Norm on Cheers. He's now hosting a new reality show called House of Dreams, which premieres this Monday night on A and E. Please welcome the beloved George Went. Good to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You know, few yeah. people reach our iconic status in TV, I believe. <laughs> and I'm grand, so glad you went along with that idea. But <laughs> no, but I was just thinking about this right now. New Year's, it's a good time for a lot of people. But for you, it's got to have this almost strange quasi hell feel because every they see people see you. They gotta buy you a beer. They just have to buy you a beer. I know, I used to say no, but no, please, don't be silly. And now I just say, yeah, bring it, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see you've battled this successfully, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, it's, it's funny because anyone who sees you and it's a party environment must think, I have to buy Norm a beer. They've and got to. Yeah, you've just got to, and you've gotta just play along, I guess. Yeah. Let's just go with it. Is that so wrong? No. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> And you probably sound like that after a few. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, I heard a rumor once, I don't know if it's true, but there was this one of those Hollywood rumors that you have um, like an uh, unlimited beer at your house and it's all free and that every room has a beer tap. And I don't know if that's true. That, my wife actually had a beer tap installed for me outside in our backyard. And you just lie underneath it? Yeah. And just <laughs> yeah. The key wow. is, it's outside. I'm an outside husband, is the thing. Right. You know? so she yeah. says, you do that outside, yeah. and yeah. then you can come yeah. into the house. Yeah, and then later on, you know, I come in. Do you get free drinks anywhere in the world? Like, if you travel around the world on, on, a, yes. on a junket, you get free? Yeah, it's Because people uh, know you that sh Cheers is rerun everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, actually, one time I, I was in New Zealand, I was shooting a movie, not Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Oh, you'll <laughs> but, get in there soon, trust me. You'll be in the fifth one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, these people, the producers, were so anxious to have me, you know, sort of promote the, the movie we were doing, that uh, right as soon as I got off the plane, they brought me in to, um, to see, like, the World Series or the, the Super Bowl of cricket, you know? The, uh, and so they were, like, doing an... Sounds it, thrilling. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. They said... <laughs> Come on in and just sit in with the announcers for like an inning, and I'm just jet lagged out of my mind and just going, uh huh, yeah. Well, that's really uh, interesting. I can see, you know, it's kind of like people, baseball, yeah. but not as exciting, right? Right. And they said, so, might have. Uh, how about uh, this New Zealand beer? You ever have any of that New Zealand beer? I go, yeah. I had a couple of Stein lagers on the plane. Great. You know, they were like, <gasps> just frozen. We uh, we don't mention brand names on state television. Right. I was like, oh, sorry, didn't know the rules. You know, right. Wake up the next morning to the sound of beep, 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 beep. The Steinlager truck backing up to my hotel. <laughs> you know, like, hey, man, come on, man. <laughs> Cases of beer like on a dolly. Suitcases, yeah, yeah. sweatshirts, right, a, right. a little baggie full of hops. You know, like, it was crazy. No, I bet you still have that little baggie of hops, yeah. <laughs> Invitation from the brewmaster. To wow, come on very down. nice. Yeah. And then you just went on every TV show you could and right, mentioned this right. amazing yeah. beer. I just did it right now. Yeah. You'll, <laughs> right you'll get nothing. I've been beep, mentioning beep. the Porsche 911 on the air. <laughs> For 10 years, yeah. nothing. No, that nothing. Is wrong. I'm still waiting for them to bring one to my house. That is just wrong. Well, I got my Ford Taurus. Now, um, <laughs> this is the SHO, that's a beautiful car. Now, <laughs> what's about this new reality show you're doing? Yeah. You are the host yeah. of this show. Have you hosted something before? Or what? No. It was kind of a stretch for me. You know, the whole sitcom acting thing. I'd been there, done that. I wanted right. a, a new, you know, so develop some new muscles. Right. So actually, I have no idea why they wanted me to be the host. I'm right. like, I told them, smooth patter to camera is not my long suit, you know, but um, I think they just pretty much wanted the worst host they could possibly get. So you're the, you're, and they said, we're getting us George Went. We're going to have him do <laughs> this right. thing. What, what is the show? Explain the reality show. How does right. it work? 16 people uh, from all walks of life, just everyday people, with no background in the building trades, get together to build a house. And uh, they live in tents on the building site, and it's um, 
Do you have to live in a tent as the no, host? No, no, I lived in a very posh hotel like an hour away. But uh, <laughs> That's the but, best part about watching Survivor is they're all eating rats. And, and then I love it when the host shows up and it's clear he's at a nine-star hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, everybody, how are you? And he's got a loofah with him. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so the, you... The winner, uh, the, uh, one guy, they vote each other off every week, and mm -hmm. one guy wins and he gets to keep the house, he or she. Right. This crappy house that they've all made. Is it a good house? <laughs> it's a damn good house. Oh, good. It's the okay. house of dreams. Good, good. Okay, because yeah. you just said none of them have ever built a house before. And well, all... yeah, you know, I mean, they, they, if things weren't up to code, you know, they, they had a little bit of help. A little Someone bit. intervenes yes. and says, yeah, you can't build a firewall no. out of marshmallow. No. Um, <laughs> Now, I understand this can get, get a little dangerous at times. Well, the kids, you know, the, the contestants, I call them the kids, um, <laughs> they, uh, they were living, you know, really kind of in a swampy, lakey, way out in the boonies uh, in S Florida there. And, and so they, there was actually a lecture the first day, this guy, uh, a safety lecture about snakes and spiders and alligators. And, um, you know, everyone was a little psyched out. Um, mosquitoes were the biggest problem. Right. but. But, uh, you know, I knew that I was just going to go back to my posh hotels. It, it was lovely, uh, but the first day I go out for a little walk because, you know, well, I better not get any fatter. I better just, you know, start Do you actually say that along. out loud as you're walking? <laughs> <laughs> I better yeah. not get fatter. It's like, man, if I just, you know, <laughs> whew. Yeah. So I, I'm out walking along, and it's beautiful, and I'm, there's a golf course, 54 holes. Right. And I see, like, on this one pond, I see these beautiful swans, and I'm, like, walking down the cart path. Nobody on the golf course. And, da -da -da, and I see these swans sort of coming toward me, and they get up out of the water, and they start waddling, not really towards me, but towards where I'm going to be if I right. follow the cart path. Right. And I'm thinking, man, that is cool, wildlife. You know, look at these swans. They're so graceful. And then I realized, you know, I figured they would just, you know, bugger off any any time now as I got closer and closer. But then all of a sudden, it's we're like this close, and they haven't like yeah, walked away like pigeons do, you know? No, yeah, swans are coming. not pigeons. Swans <laughs> no. are are very aggressive. And this one guy starts. I don't know what he must have thought I was looking at his girl or something. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? And not bad, by the way. Right, right, yeah, right. yeah. Not, right. You know, Those kind swans of, yeah. are all right. Anyway, yeah. But, <laughs> He's up and he's like, like whacking at me like with his mouth. Oh, with the, oh, he wasn't yeah. doing this with his hand. He was, <laughs> no, I, thought, no. I thought he was like, talk to the hand or doing. <laughs> Sarai, Sarai. No, this attack, you, you were attacking attacked. me. And, uh, and so like, I'm, I didn't want to turn around and like walk away, figured it would bite right, me on the butt right. and stuff. And that would be no good. So I'm, I'm sort of just standing my ground going, hey, hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, hey. And, and I'm walking backwards all the while. And, I, and I, I'm walking up this berm. Yeah. And I fall down. Right. Like the little girl in the Frankenstein movie, you know right, what I mean? Right. And you're ah! Now the thing's on me. He jumps on oh me. Oh my god. And it's on. I'm brawling with a swan. It's like, ah! <laughs> and you know, he's got the the, the neck, you and know, And they're three strong feet long. too. And he's yes, yeah. He's, he's got the neck going and I'm like, okay, now do I want to get my hand in there? And I'm like, no. No. So he didn't know about the legs, see. He was not I got him in a scissors, slammed him over on his side. <laughs> You got a swan and a scissor hole? They're horrible. They're the hell with them. Well, I believe in all creatures. Don't write the letters to me. Write them to George. Now, <laughs> House of Dreams premieres this Monday night at 9 on A&E. That's right. And if you watch to the end, they're going to show the swan footage, I hope. I hope we see that. George, always good to see you. Thanks. George, when everybody. We'll be right back with Natalie McMaster. Stick around. My next guest comes to us from Cape Breton Island near Nova Scotia, and uh, she's regarded as one of the greatest fiddle players in the world. Her latest album is called Blueprint. It's a real pleasure to welcome Natalie McMaster. That was great. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Natalie McMaster, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Well, folks, that's our show. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for the last call with Carson Daly. Goodbye, everybody! Yeah.